on it. See what it see what this motherfucker do. I'm trying to get it in one hand. It's a little bit tough to do. There we go. Texas Speed LS Cam Shadow. Come with a nice little Texas Speed little keychain. Thing. Box of springs. <clears throat> oh yeah. This is it. That's what I've been waiting on. The Chopper Cabra. I got the block bust all the way down, flipped over. Just trying to get a little bit more of this debris up out of here. Let's see if I can turn this light on for y'all. All right. I've already been scrubbing on this one. Got the top of it all cleaned out. Give me a razor blade. Clean off that bottom. I'm gonna drop the motherfucking razor blade in here. That's good enough for this side. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. All right. Now we finish to whip out this can. We're gonna stick it off up in there. This is what I'm gonna use. Some of this Lucas Assembly Lube. Semi-synthetic. And first, we're gonna put this side in first. There we 
to go. Melt that all the way up in there. Wipe off some of this excess grease and get a clean towel. All right, now we finna put on the camshaft retainer plate. This is everything bust all down. Right now we're gonna put this on. That's some thread lock. It should be red. Came with the retainer plate, so. seal right here because you don't want this to be leaking that's why i just got a new retainer plate because the gasket on the factory one was pretty flattened out this new gas this new retainer plate got a new gasket on it kind of stick out a little bit more so i could feel it versus that factory one i couldn't even feel that motherfucker so So I got the cam up in there and I put this little timing chain gear on, whatever you want to call it. You do want to make sure that this gear got this little dimple right here lined up with the hole right there on the bottom crankshaft. So a little camshaft gear, a little dimple down there. All right, there on that one. It's kind of hard to see because I don't already put the oil pump on. But now, I'm gonna go on and put the timer chain cover on. Gotta clean these bolts off. Put my timing chain cover. So they could, I already done cleaned off two of them. Gotta clean off the rest of them. So I'm trying to get all of that from in between them threads. And the way I'm doing that, with this. All right, I got all my screws cleaned off. I'm gonna put this timing chain cover on here. 